35. Speech. Our speech very commonly dates us. For example, I grew up in California on a farm in the kerosene lamp days, and I can spot others who have the same background. It's very easy. If one says, put out the light, they learned to talk when kerosene lamps were still in use. Nowadays, children are told to turn on or flip off the lights. It's even easier to spot people from the South or from Scotland. Their accent is a giveaway. But our language tells more about us than where we were born and how we grew up. It manifests our faith and character. It reveals our heart. Proverbs 18.21 declares, quote, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That is, those who love to talk freely must take the consequence thereof. Our words thus are a power and a witness to death or to life, and what they witness to is governed by what we are. Quote, For as he, a man, thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23, 7. And so too is his speech. The question then is what our speech reveals about our heart. Are we governed by life or by death? Do we manifest the life of one redeemed by Christ, or do we reek of death, sourness, stupid self-interest and self-satisfaction whenever we open our mouths? We are a giveaway whenever we speak. Sooner or later, people will recognize what's in our hearts. Being guarded in our speech is always important. It's the mark of a fool to speak without thinking and to be too quick to express himself. But being guarded is not enough. The heart is the problem. An unregenerate heart will manifest its flavour of death in speech, even as a person who is a new creation will be unable to conceal, if he chose, the life which governs him. One of the highest words of praise in Scripture is spoken with reference to speech. Of the godly wife whose, quote, price is far above rubies, end quote, it said, quote, she openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Proverbs 31.26 If others can say that of us, then we are rich indeed, and we need no higher praise, because our words and our life praise us.